basically, if you guys remember, I, here's what I do in my head. You're basically, I'm thinking of this in my head. 28, negative 11. So when I'm doing this, a lot of times, I, you know, I'm not going to do the box method. A lot of times I'll do this in my head. But basically what I'm doing is saying, what two numbers multiply to give me 28, but then add to give me negative 11? So in my head, I'm thinking of all the numbers that multiply to give me positive 28. 28 times 1, 14 times 2. And we could do 3 doesn't go in there, 7. 7, seven times 4, and that's it, right? Now, if these numbers have to add to give me a negative 11, then I know that all of them, yes? If they add to give me, if they all multiply to give me positive 28, but they add to give me negative 11, I know that both of the factors have to be negative, both of them. So now, all I'm simply doing is trying to determine what two numbers multiply to give me 28 and add to give me negative 11. Well, you guys can see the only answer there is negative 7 and negative 4. Correct? And if you guys notice on that first example that I did, these values are actually in your factored form. And they're in the factored form of x minus 7 times x minus 4. And again, if you're unsure, you're not sure if you did it correctly, always go back and practice what we did in our focus lesson. Multiply it out. x squared minus 4x minus 7x plus 28. x squared minus 11x plus 28. Right? You can always go back and check your work. OK? So what I'd like you guys to